seven month pledge. Please make it a point of duty to pay. You were not forced to come out and you have pledged to God, not to any man, not to the pastor. Please pay up your pledges. The Lord bless you as you do so in Jesus' name. To all our partners, we want to say thank you. The Lord bless you as we make the work in his vineyard progress in Jesus' name. Let the good women in the house shout hallelujah. We all are to wait for a brief meeting immediately after the service. Good women in the house, we are to wait for a brief meeting immediately after the service. The prayer champion in the house, praise the Lord. Monthly provisional prayer champion video will be coming up tomorrow, 8th on the 8th of April 2024. Time is 11 p.m. and the venue is King. King's Court Parish. For address of the parish, you can make, meet the King Shobayo for more details. If there is any other announcement, it will be communicated to us before the close of the service. Stay blessed as you enjoy the remaining part of the service. the Lord. Let's open our Bible to the book of Revelation chapter 12 verse 11. Revelation chapter 12 verse 11. Revelation 12 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their life unto death. Testimony time. If you, are, <laughs> you have testimony in the house, please, please raise up your hand. If you have testimony, number one, testimony. If you have testimony, please raise up your hand. Number two, yeah, let's, let's call, come out in the order. Number three, number four, number one. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the mighty Jesus. Um, first of all, I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul and um, the grace to witness today. And I want to thank God for over like three years staying at home now. I've gotten admission to school. And again, I want to thank God for health. During these hard times, God has been so good. I want to give all the glory back to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Brethren, there is God in this church. And this church is a prayer answering church. I want to testify to the glory of God for what he did in my life and the life of my family. I just want to thank him. I want to thank him for the just concluded program, this um, marching forward. I appreciate his holy name for what he did. Before the program, I had made up my mind. I said, God, I don't want to be a partaker of this program and go empty. I told him, I prayed that he should bless me. The very first day of the program, Daddy Dumu said, we should stop coming to a program like this, empty. That we should always pray to God. That God should put our word in the mouth of, this, of his servants. That is, that we should pray that God put my word in the mouth of the servants that will minister. And I keep to it as I pray about it. I told him to put my word and the word of my children in the mouth of his servant. So the glory of God on um, Sunday, which was the testimony, Thanksgiving Day, the Lord remembered me and my family, especially my son Samuel. Exactly what the Lord says about me, about my boy, came to pass. All what he, he prophesied upon our life, I thank him because everything came to pass. Everything worked exactly how he said it. 
I just want to give him glory because if I say I should start naming it one by one, ah, Ile Ashu, the Lord has been so great. He did it exactly how we want it. I give him all the glory because he's worthy. I give him all the praise because he deserves it. I exalt him because he's mighty. May his name be praised. That which he started, I know he's going to perfect it. Praise the living Jesus! Children of God, praise the Lord. Praise the Master Jesus. Are we happy in the house? Praise the Lord. I bless the name of the Lord for the salvation of my soul and that of my family. I thank God for what God did in my life and my family. During the time of marching forward program, I told my God I'll be coming for this program all these years. But this year, I will not go empty handed. The Lord will visit me and will visit my family. Praise the Lord. I asked, I requested for four things during that program. I put it on right and I said, God, these four things I want you to do for me through this program. And it will not delay. I don't want delay answer. I want you to do it ozibo ozibo. I see the heart, make you the dwarm. Praise the Lord. And through, through, as in the heart, God, they do and was possible. Praise the Master Jesus. And requested for a new accommodation. And God brought it to pass. Praise the Lord. And I asked God for a new shop in where I'm selling. Praise the Master Jesus. And the Lord did it at the same time. Praise the Lord. The third one is healing. And God perfected all. Praise the Master Jesus. I thank the Lord, our daddy, the moon. Praise the Master Jesus. My God continue to lift you up and bless you in the name of Jesus. As you are doing this program to bless souls, God also will bless you and your family in the name of Jesus. And as he pray for that Pastor Joshua, God Almighty will lift him up and bless him. As God have used him, I use daddy to bring a blessing to my life this year. May God bless them also in the name of Jesus. And all of us that are sitting, our testimony also will come unto us in the name of Jesus. Praise the Master Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Martin Jesus. Modupala wa Lord Baba. Modupala wa Lord Mama. Modupala wa Lord we mimi ma. Modupala Lord Baba wa Adeboye. Modupabi Moshe mpe wa. Ben wanta milo. Modupala Lord kujio Jesus kofimi sile. Amaladi alafia ni gejo. Topic it as a full fellowship or my lady, I love you, Annie. You got that, I told you, dog, and my best, you got to our my lady, I love you, and you, Muffy, Miss Lel, my young Ramo, or Mammy, you don't well, or Mammy, the bell, Moa, the Palawa, Lorum, or guess from a lock of Miss Lel. Lori, I be me, old duo to me, me, Saku Loriama, me, Ridam, Loriama, but all about the young Monday, last born me, twenty four. April, I be. But my dear, the first April, the mommy be your corny. Last mommy, praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Motuka love of our devil. Motuka love of our demo. Tony, I know the automatic baby. Mofisha, do all that share for me. Motuka, you have to allow me to allow my dad with you. And you read that book. And you read what I love. Pastor Joshua, don't want me to watch any game. Don't go on. Not bad on Motupan, he told me, tell her, tell her. He said, Look, Babo, to go down to Motuko, Lua. That's it, Bano. Little yet, if you be now. Above me, you are no go. Above me, you are no go. Me only know this Fatimunda. Me only know this Yaku. I don't Baba, they are Boboy. But then, damn it all. For your father, let me go where you tap our life. I tell you, Baba, I must sit down. I am a botany. You look at yes, you will do our. Praise the Lord. The testimony of our mommy, she's thanking God for what God has done in her life. Firstly, last week at the Ask Fellowship, she mentioned that the topic that was treated was Prince of Peace. And the Monday following the Ask Fellowship, she was praying and calling on God, you are the Prince of Peace. And the Lord answered her prayer, and the Lord blessed her with a new grandchild. And to the glory of God, she was healed from the program that was just concluded last week. Praise the Lord. 
Let somebody shout hallelujah. I want to bless the name of the Lord for his faithfulness in my life, in my family. The Lord has been faithful. Uh, in the month of March, our wedding clock, 10 years. I want to bless the name of the Lord for his faithfulness. And December, one of our suppliers walked up to me and said, I saw that you just started a new business. I will support you. And since then, I've been expectant that I did not force him to say it. But it was as if it was delayed. When Pastor Joshua came in January to do the anointing, he said this anointing is the anointing of favor. I kept on praying that, Daddy, this anointing must bring favor. And lo and behold, in the month of March, suddenly he just, I just saw the alert. And I want to bless the name of the Lord. It was a wow. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Which of the te 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 testimony is too small? Is it for, for, for a new bouncy baby boy? Is it for our baby Samuel? Is it for new accommodation? Is it for the new baby? And all the testimony, we, we thank the Lord. Our testimony will be permanent in the name of Jesus. It's time to give our offering. Let's open our Bible to the book of Luke, chapter 6. Verse 38. Media, Luke chapter 6, verse 38. Luke chapter 6, verse 38. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good mayor, president, and shaking together, and running over shall men give into your bosom. The Lord said, We shall give, and it shall be given unto us. We, we should learn how to give. This is month of April. The Lord has been with us since the month of January, for February, for March, and April. Let's give in, give in, give in, give in our substance and let's dance unto the Lord. The Lord will bless us in the name of Jesus. Let, let's rise up and give our offering. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mori re, mori re, mori re gba o. Mori re, mori re, mori re gba o. Mori re, mori re, mori re gba o. Mori re, mori re, mori re gba
Alléluia, 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 Vitui, Vitui, Alléluia, Jesus Thank you, Lord. We worship you. Now, we thank you, whole Lord, for the testimony of your children, O Lord. Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the healing. We thank you, Lord, for the mighty things, O Lord, that, that, that you have done in our life. We thank you, Lord, for the favor. We thank you, Lord, for the bouncy baby, baby boy. We thank you, Daddy, that we are here to rejoice. We are, we are, we are not in the hospital tomorrow with the family. <laughs> Hallelujah be unto your name, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, all this testimony, Daddy, let it be permanent in our life, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. No, the, the, the people that, that, that still think when is my own testimony is going to come in this month of restoration Father Lord our testimony will come Lord, in the name of Jesus Father Lord we commit our offering unto your evil hand Father Lord accept our offering Lord, in the name of Jesus Father Lord it's tight so Lord don't, don't let anything be tight so Lord for us Lord in the name of Jesus Father Lord in this time oh Lord that we are, we are saying everything is not easy in our life let it be easy Lord, in the name of Jesus Father Lord Please open the, 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 the window of heaven concerning us, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. The Lord, we bless you, Lord, we worship you for accepting us and accept our thanksgiving. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. It's time to have the Sunday school summary. How many of us were at the Sunday school this morning? You were at the Sunday school this morning. Well, thank God for those of us that were there. If you were not there, I will still encourage you. Sunday school is 8 o'clock. There, you have time for full explanation. You have time to ask questions. You have time to bring in your own contribution. Very, very important. So, make me. Please make out the time to be part of Sunday school. This season. The topic is a very sensitive one. Very, very sensitive. And it comes across everybody. Everybody is involved. Everybody is involved. The nation is involved. Families are involved. Today's topic is marriage status. Marriage status. And because it's this, um, the summary, you won't expect me to go deep into all the discussions. But as God will help me, I will delve a little into uh, the topic. There were two outlines, marriage status and the characteristics of a living marriage. One thing I want us to know is that the very first ministry that God created was the marriage ministry. Genesis chapter 2. After he had formed Adam, he gave Adam ministry. Name all the animals, he put them in the garden, till it and keep it. And he saw that the work is so much for Adam and he made the woman out of the rib of the man. The Bible said he brought the woman to him and he said, oh, this is now the bone of my bones, the flesh of my flesh, and she shall be called a woman. That's the beginning of marriage ministry. And then God didn't stop there. The Bible says, therefore, whatever the Lord has joined together, I can hear you. Let no man. Why did the Bible say man there? Why did the Bible not put some other things? 
Let no money put asunder. Let no friend put asunder. Let no parents put asunder. Why the Bible not specify all those things? The reason is because man is the apex of creation. So every other thing is under man. Every other thing is under the man. So if God says man should not divide, that simply means nothing must divide. And if that is true, then we need to pay attention seriously to our marriages. I often tell people, even twins, twins that are born the same day, from the same womb, by the same mother, do they have differences? Uh -huh. I can't hear you talk. I don't have time more. Do they have differences? Do they fight? Yes. Do they quarrel? Yes. Even Jacob and Esau, right from the womb, they began to quarrel. Now, a brother grew up from a different family. A sister grew up from a different family. And the two of them will now come together to form a new family. Are you saying they will not quarrel? There will, there will not be misunderstanding? There will be quarrels. There will be misunderstanding. If I see anybody that tells me that in my marriage for one year, for, we didn't have any quarrel, I will not congratulate you. I will run away from you. Because it means you are a liar. There is no way you can say you will not quarrel. No way. But God has helped us so much that there is what we call emotional balance that comes by understanding, that comes by humility, that comes by understanding the word of God. God is, is uh, how many of us have a car? Let me use an example. Uh, uh, Toyota. How many of us have a Toyota car? Nobody. You will soon have one. Yeah. And that's one of the prayers I said I will pray for people today. On Friday, I traveled to Ibadan. I didn't go with the vehicle. I boarded a public transport. Took a car in Ibadan. By the time I came back, all my body was paining me. I said, ah, so this is what people go through when they travel all these places. I said, today I'm going to pray for everybody that does not have a personal... It's not luxury. It's not luxury. It's something that you need to help you. If you think it's a luxury, you may not get it. But if it is to alleviate your issue of moving from one place to another to make it easier, God will make a provision for you. Amen. Supposing your Toyota car has a problem and you now look for a mechanic and you now go to a uh, bagage mechanic Bajaj in You are now telling the Bajaj man that my Honda bag has problems. What are you expecting? What will he do to it? It will help you to spoil it more. So if there is any problem in the marriage, who are you supposed to go to? The one that instituted marriage. And he has given us the rules governing your marriage. All the rules that you need, they are here. But we are so lazy that we cannot go through this book to know God's plan for our lives, even in marriage. You see, the elderly people, as I'm talking, I'll be mentioning the younger ones. So you see, the elderly people that have been in marriage for 40 years, for 50 years, if you have the opportunity to ask them, especially the women, they will tell you. It is by understanding and endurance. Understanding and endurance. There are many areas where we have some men. I mean, I can talk from experience. I've been in a church that one of the pastors who are talking on marriage and one of the ministers said, my wife, I paid dowry on her, is my property. I said, you are wrong. Your wife is not your property. The Bible says, help meet. 
that you pay dowry is like signing a contract. The dowry is the consideration. If we have any lawyer in the house, you will understand better. The dowry is the consideration that um, activates the contract. So, every woman that is married, if you have not paid your dowry, that man is a thief. Oh. He has stolen you. You better tell the man to go and do it. I am not joking. I had an instance. This one was even a minister. I'm online, so you know what it means. The lady was being with him. They have had four children. But this man didn't pay the dowry, didn't do the normal thing. Later, the man now met another girl and followed that girl to pay her dowry. And the one in the house is now grumbling. Who are you grumbling to? There's nothing you can do. One, he didn't marry you. So you are living in the man's house. He has not paid your dowry. If it is for you to cook a uh, dick icon, good one. So as to turn the head to go and pay your dowry, you better do it. So that sooner or later, you don't regret it. Marriage regret it. Marriage is not between two same sex. Man and man, no. Woman and woman, no. All the things that the devil is doing about marriage now, they are perversions. They are not right. Legalizing a woman to marry her son, a man to marry his daughter, is of the devil. Anybody that is involved in that, they are already on their way to hell. It's as simple as that. So, when you are talking about marriage, here we have the marriage status. We have three types. One is marriage in coma. When you know somebody is in coma, you know what it means. Half a life. Living dead. is in coma. That kind of marriage, the two of them, they just don't bother about themselves. Either you are home or not, does not matter. When you don't matter to yourself, that marriage is in coma. They are just living lifelessly. They dwell more on each other's weaknesses and offenses. Look at what you have done. You will shout on the wife. The wife will shout on the husband. Like the example our teacher gave you here this morning. That the wife shouted on the other. Look at you and you are coming back home. You didn't go. No. That kind of marriage is in coma. When you begin to shout on yourselves. It doesn't matter the offense. You are still a human being. It's only an animal that you can. Uh, if you have a dog in your house. And a stranger comes in. What will the dog do? It will attack. So any marriage that either the husband or the wife is an attacker. It's an animal. Yes, the Bible says be angry, say not. I, I've said it at the beginning that there is no way you will not offend each other. No way. But the truth is, if I am the one that offended my wife, and she gets angry and will begin to fight. When she offends me, what happens? There's no proof that forever I will not offend. No. And there's no proof that forever she will not offend. But the oil of the marriage is how you and I, our husband and wife, can keep moving despite the misunderstanding, sort it out, move forward. It's an experience you gain. There's a problem that comes instead of your shouting on each other, fighting with each other. Calm down. Cool down. When A is shouting, B should keep quiet. The husband is talking, man, keep quiet. When the man is the woman is talking, sir. Don't tell her that, look, this is my house. She be you brought her into the house. If you want to really enjoy your home, there must be mutual understanding. The second marriage started is dead marriage. I mean, they may be living under the same roof, but they are strangers to themselves. That's the truth. 
There's a story of a man, a couple, and uh, in the same house, but they don't talk to each other. Because they had a misunderstanding, so they don't talk to each other. And then the husband had a, a meeting in Abuja and has to be there. He wanted to go with the flight. So has to get there early, finish the meeting and return for his business. And because they are not talking at home, he wrote a note. Wake me up by 5 a.m. So he put the note where the wife will see it in their bedroom. The wife saw the note. The wife, when it was 5 a.m., the wife woke up, took the note and wrote, wake up, it's 5 a.m., and put it back there. And by the time the man woke up to 7, I said, you should wake me up. You didn't wake me up. He said, you left a note. Go and look at the note now. It's already written there. It's 5 a.m., wake up. Does it solve the problem? No. God created you to talk. He created the man to talk. So, when Adam lost his responsibility in the Garden of Eden, the devil came and took hold of the woman. When God came, what did Adam say? He said, it's the woman you gave me. Which means, Adam failed God. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, man. You will not fail God. Every dead marriage, every marriage in coma in this church, as the Lord Jehovah God lives, you shall be renewed. You shall be revived in the name of Jesus. And let me be frank with you. I was, I was counseling a couple and I told them there is what we call an aura. A-U-R-A. Aura. Aura has to do with the atmosphere. If the atmosphere of your home is not supportive to the children, you can't get godly children, no. Malachi chapter 2. If the atmosphere in your home is not supporting the children to grow positively, you can't get results. Husband and wife, you are arguing every time. Your children are there. You are quarreling now and then. You are talking negatively to each other. It will affect the future of your children. By the time they grow up, I am not saying you're teaching them now. The atmosphere you create in the home, that is the atmosphere under which they grow. It will affect their lives. Let me give you a good illustration. How many of us use perfume here? You use perfume. I saw that. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know I preached a sermon on that many years ago. Use perfume. Don't let me extend it. Now, if you put on your perfume and you you carry your son or your daughter, you carry the child. By the time you put the child down and somebody goes near that child, what will they perceive? Eh? The perfume will be on that child. So if the atmosphere in the room, if the atmosphere in the house is not good enough to grow the children, they will grow up under that negative atmosphere. So when they go out, you will see it in them. That is why, one of the reasons why Yoruba said, he lay Latin poet sure today. Living marriage. It's a kind of marriage in which the couple dwells together in understanding. I mentioned it. Patience. Understanding. Patience. Sacrifices. Love. And enjoys the company of each other. Over time, they have learned to manage their weaknesses and excesses. They have learned to manage. That is why in some quarters, when you want to get a job and you apply, they ask you, married or single? Why? Because they believe that if you are married, you are responsible. Somebody that is not married is said to be yet to be responsible. Let me use that word. So, for you to be, I mean, you are responsible, it simply means you can control your anger. You can grow your patience. You can control your emotions. These are the things that will help you in marriage. 
especially these younger ones. These younger ones, if you, if you make social media your life pattern, it may not end well. Many of the people on social media are single, single parents or single mothers. What do they call them now? Single mothers. And they are proud of it. I mean, I've said it here many, some time ago, where some people, women, they were celebrating, I do, I did, I have done. Because they were celebrating divorce. They beat cake to cut cake, celebrating divorce. It has gotten to that level. Marriage is a sensitive thing. The devil is seriously interested in marriage. So that the devil can destroy the future of the children. That's why the devil is, at, is, is so serious about the issue of marriage. Sir, these brothers now, brothers, husbands, I am saying this to you. Your wife is not your slave. You didn't buy how that dowry that you paid. Eh? Cannot buy her. It's not your slave. The Bible says, have meat. You know, some of us men, we are quick to say, eh, wives should submit. We don't talk about what the Bible says about the men. No. What does the Bible say about the men? Eh? So, what does the word love mean? The Bible says, love covereth multitude of. So, you will not open a diary and uh, uh, day before yesterday, this is what you did though. Then last week, you did this one no? and last month, you did this one. You are starting again. No? You are starting again. No? Uh -uh. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 27. Ephesians 4 27. The Bible says, neither give a place to the devil. Neither give a place to the devil. The Yoruba says, be o giri o balano. Don't open your home. Don't open your marriage to hearsay. Don't open your marriage to people that will come in to destroy it. We can keep talking on this issue of marriage. Next Sunday is another one by God's grace. Make sure you come. In fact, God helping us, we can allow more time so that we have a lot of contributions. Many people are just passionate in their marriage. Oh, Sir, you don't understand. There are some women that are, hey, there are something else. They are pepe. I agree with you. But traditionally, when you cook soup, sisters here, when you cook soup and there is too much pepper in it, what do you do? Eh? You add more oil. I even know how to cook more than many of you women. Uh-uh. When you cook and the pepper is more, you add more oil. It will dampen the, the, the hot, hotness of the pepper. So, when your wife is hot, what are you supposed to do? Be the oil. If it's again and again, again and again, again and again, take a, a case to God in prayer. Take a case to God in prayer. He's the one that ordained the institution. He can help you. And sisters, there is a day that says, How you lay your bed. If you are saying husband love your wife, before the husband can love, that must be the object of love. That is absolutely important. There must be the object of love. And the money you gave me is not enough to cook soup. And you are expecting this. And you are expecting this. I gave my war, eh, Bokoto, eh, Eja. You are expecting the day, everything in the soup. How much did you give me? Whatever he has given you, manage. If he has more, will he not give? If, if your husband gives you 10,000 naira for soup, and he comes in and he's expecting 50,000 naira soup. 
As if, as, <laughs> are you a prostitute to go and get more money? You can manage it. If you as a woman you even have, there is no problem. Add to it. Is it not for the two of you? And the children. Look, let me tell you. I'm already taking 10 minutes. So. Let me tell you something. To me, oh, to me, a woman can be far, far richer than the husband. If I have the opportunity, I will allow it. Far, far richer. And do you know what? It will make that woman more humble. Not that the woman will now become the head of the home. No. You have time to do many other things. In fact, the woman will have time to help you. I, I think I was telling, maybe my wife was just discussing it when I mentioned the same thing. I said, but what me, I will go against is that a woman, because you have money, you now go, you bought a landed property, you build a place without the knowledge of your husband. I will not agree with that. It means your home is already divided. That's what it means. You have the money, you want to buy a landed property, tell your husband, I want to buy a landed property. You go there together. I remember many years, years now, somebody came to me, he said, sir, I've got a landed property. I want you to help me to pray, blah, blah, blah. I said, is your husband that we are? That was the first question I asked. He said, yes. Okay, I can pray for you. If your husband is not aware, I won't pray for you. I don't, I, I will not be an accomplice to a wrong thing. I will not do it. I'll just tell you, sorry, man. Go and tell your husband. Tell your husband to call me. I'll pray for you. There is no limit to the joy of marriage if you will allow it to flow. That's the truth. If you, are, you will allow it to flow. That as a woman, you have more money than your husband does not change the position in the home. You will be humble. That does not mean when it's time to set the table for your husband, you can't set it. That does not mean, I mean, there's a, a husband too in this church who was just talking one day and the young man said, Sir, at home, even when I finish eating, I still take my plate to the kitchen. I just pick it up, I take it to the kitchen, at times I wash it, I put it there. That does not change you as a husband. They set your table, you finish, I, I'm ready. If the children are not there to clear, there is no point in leaving the whole place dirty. You are still waiting for your wife that will come and clear the table. There should be mutual understanding in the home. Very, very important. Mutual understanding in the home. Very, very important. Patience. Very, very important. Management of your emotions. Very, very important. If you start with this from the beginning, your marriage will endure. If you begin to copy social media lifestyle, I'm sorry, it can't endure. Praying together, eating together, these are the things that can help your marriage to grow. You wake up in the morning, you want to pray. Pray, all the children are there, you finish praying, it's time to eat, you set the table in one plate. You eat your food, the children can eat their food there. But the husband and the wife, you eat together. The Bible says, two shall become one. Therefore, what the Lord has joined together, let no man put us under. Let no food put us under. Let no table put us under. Eat together. Bro, it's not at night time that you become good to your wife. No. One woman first square many years ago. She said, any day my husband comes home and comes with a gift, I know something is happening that day. It should not be like that. It should not be like that. 
the two shall become one. Let the understanding grow. Let your, your, your husband, your wife be your best friend, your this partner and the likes. It will really help your life. It will really help your life. Then characteristics of a living marriage. What do you see in a living marriage? You see the fear of God. You see love at work. You see mutual support. You see mutual support. You see forgiveness. You see kindness. You see commitment. You see appreciation. You see acceptance. And you see that they spend quality time together. They spend quality time together. So note. Let me round up. For all these things to be, there must be deliberate efforts on the part of the husband and the wife. Deliberate effort. It's not that it will just come like that. Deliberate effort. If somebody says, I've, I want to surrender my life to Jesus, and you have been smoking cigarette before, and he says, today I surrender my life to Jesus. Does it mean tomorrow he will not feel like smoking cigarette? Eh? He will still feel like smoking cigarette. But a deliberate effort that, no, I have surrendered my life to Jesus, I won't smoke again. A deliberate effort is what will cancel that lifestyle. So, the hope there must be a deliberate effort of both partners. A deliberate effort. On, on both partners. And then determination. I know I've talked about vision in a marriage. If you are going into marriage without a vision, please go back to your drawing board. What do you want to accomplish in your marriage? What do you want your children to become in the future? How do you want them to be what you plan for them to be? How do you create the atmosphere for them to be what you want them to be? Don't just have children and then begin to, uh, like Mala people, God have mercy. When they get to a certain age, they give them Bible, put in their hand, and then they graduate from there. No. We have many vagabonds on the streets. Don't go into a marriage without vision. What is your plan for marriage? If your ability is to be able to take care of two children, maximum two. If you can take care of 15, then your wife is in a good position to dictate. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when you're married, when you have a vision in your marriage, you move with that vision. The two of you must have understanding of it. The Bible says without vision, the people will perish. The Lord will continue to help us, help our homes. His grace shall be sufficient for us in the name of Jesus. I say His grace shall be sufficient for us in the name of Jesus. Next Sunday, 8 o'clock. Because the topic next Sunday is still talking about marriage. So please make it. Let's come together and look at all these issues together. Beginning with immediate effect. Our marriages are get better in Jesus' name. And even the ones that are coming... The youth that, that are coming up, the Lord God Almighty will give you a great understanding so that you can have a solid foundation for a beautiful marriage in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are we clapping for the pastor? Are we... Please tell your neighbor, don't miss on the school next week. Shall we put our hands together as we invite the message voices? Let's keep clapping. It's unto the Lord. Do it well. It's unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know how big your God is. Hallelujah. Can you measure how big your God is? 
No one can do that. Hallelujah. There was a song that says, Our God is big, bigger than the nation, wider than sea, deeper than ocean, taller than tree, higher than mountain. Our God is very, very big. Our song this morning says, Big God. And I pray the big God will do big things for you today in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have a very big God. Can we celebrate Jesus? It's a big God. Are we ready this morning? One, two, three. High up, I have a very big God. A very big God. Oh, in only for my hand. He's always on my side. A very big God. I have a very big God.
time for our thanksgiving and uh, today is the seventh day of the fourth month seven as we know is the number for perfection and four is the number for life so any, everybody that will participate in today's thanksgiving I want you to make it a living thanksgiving a living thanksgiving Sing and dance. You know many times when the children come in, we just sit down and be looking at them. No. Don't sit down and be looking. Be thanking God. Stand, sing and dance along. So that if we spend 30 minutes doing Thanksgiving, you are singing and dancing for 30 minutes. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Yeah. We have the children. After that, well, the pretty things, the things, and every one of us will do it together. Um, as we begin to prepare the children so that they can come for their Thanksgiving, uh, let me say one or two things quickly. I want to appeal to us. I mentioned it to the work in the morning. When something is going on, especially when someone is on, Please curtail your movement. Sit down and listen to the sermon. Don't be moving about. There are times where we want to pray. It is when the prayer is about to start that somebody will not want to go to the toilet. Uh -uh. Don't let the devil push you to go to the toilet when your time to pray and receive answers is at hand. The Lord will help us. Please, don't let us be wandering around. Going out, coming in at will. In the course of the service, is not very good. Um, workers, there are some of the workers who had an assignment, who has an assignment after service today. Well, let me be, let me pity you a little. I, don't say thank you, you don't know where I'm going. Instead of the, about four hours it will have been before, I reduce it to two hours. So, uh, only two hours. So after service, you pray for two hours before you go anywhere. Uh, Diki Shobayo, you are the workers' captain, so you organize it. But that should be two hours. If it's not up to two hours, mon uh, workers' monthly prayer meeting is this Friday. Please take note. By the grace of God. Now, they out with Daddy Gio, with the God of Daddy Gio, is a program that is set annually to bring partners together for the Holy Ghost Congress in December. Just like we have partners for our programs here, to bring partners together for the Holy Ghost Congress coming up in December. But there is a ticket that will take you into that meeting. Last year, the ticket was 25,000 Naira per one. But we know the situation everywhere now. So the ticket has moved from 25,000 to 40,000 per one. And then there are not many. And it's going to be first come, first serve basis. So if you come early, maybe you'll pick one. If the one given to us is finished, I may not be able to go and pursue them at the province for extra copy. So that's the truth. Last year, we had many people that got to the camp to go and queue. There was no more um, ticket for them. They had to queue. And they don't want waste stages. So you want to be part of it, make sure you see me today. Today, unfailingly. Today. And let me finalize that one. It is cash carry basis. Cash and carry basis. Last year, somebody paid for me. That said, sir, you don't want to go. Said, I will pay for the two of us. The Lord will bless your life more in the name of Jesus. I know that it may not be loud. 
I said the Lord will bless your life in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Because of 40,000 naira, your image is down. Ah, God have mercy. Let these people begin to talk in the areas of millions, of billions, not just of naira, but of dollars and pounds sterling. And you will not steal. Low. It will be God fearing promotion in the name of Jesus. And then finally, at the province, there is this prayer chain that um, will be doing. It's starting tomorrow, 8th April. It's starting tomorrow. Our turn, Communion Chapel, uh, Abba Father, they join us together, and the uh, King's Palace area. Our turn is Tuesday, 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. A link will be sent. I will forward the link to all our platforms. So when it is 9 p.m., please join us to pray. The prayer is not is for the province, for Nigeria, for you, for marriages, for the youth, for the singles, for the children, for the sick, name it, for businesses. That we just want to pray for ourselves. That is it. We just want to pray for ourselves. So on Tuesday, 9 to 10 p.m. is our own time. We will send out the link. By the grace of God. Join us anywhere you are. If it is a link, I mean, you don't have to come here. I'm not saying that there is going to be Bible study on Tuesday. Oh, but this prayer meeting is 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. So join us wherever you are. And the Lord will bless your life in the name of Jesus. How many of us are ready to thank God? Eh? How many of us are ready to thank God? Sister Ivan, which one, what's the language you say when you are giving testimony? Osiso, Osiso, what is that language? Osiso. Hallelujah. So, okay, that reminds me. Many of us, you are supposed to give testimony of what God has done for you, especially that much program. But you didn't talk. I am praying for you that you will not lose it. That's all I can say. I am praying for you that you will not lose it. That's all. Because God Himself demands for it. I'm praying that you will not lose it. So, the choir, come on board. Let's have the children. And then, like I said, let's begin to sing. Let's begin to dance with them. And then, if it, when it gets to our turn, we must have sang and danced. And then we we'll just come in, drop our offering, and then we'll go on our way. Hallelujah. Amen.
Everlasting King of Glory, the I am that I am, the unchangeable changer, the one who was, the one who is, the one who is to come. We are here today to say thank you 
for all that you have done, for all that you are doing, and for all that you will do in the life of our children. Father, let your name alone be praised forever in the name of Jesus. Thank you for taking them out and for bringing them home safely. It can only be you. And that's why we are returning all glory, honor unto your able name. We say may your name be praised forever in the name of Jesus. Our Lord, our God. This afternoon, we pray in the name that is above every other name. That these children, Lord, guide their emotions. Amen. Guide their hearts. In the name of Jesus. I pray for them even as they go to school, their going shall be blessed. Their coming shall be glorious. In the name of Jesus. None of them will embark on a journey of no return. In the name of Jesus. In this mount of perfection, I pray that everything that concerns you all, the Lord will perfect. In the name of Jesus. It will perfect your education. It will perfect your health. It will perfect your spiritual lives. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you this day. That even as we look at you. We are always smiling. We will not look at you and cry. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you children like Joseph. Children like Samuel. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you today. Among the best will be the best. In the name of Jesus. I pray for your teachers. It shall be well with them all. Because they are in that department. All their heart desire. The Lord will grant unto them. It will perfect everything that concerned them. In the name of Jesus. I cover you all with the precious blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus will avail for you all. In the name of Jesus. If Jesus tarries in his coming next month, we will celebrate together in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you, Rico, children. We shall be well with you in Jesus' name. God bless you. Great are you, Lord. The universe declares your majesty. Who can compare with such a love of concerning so that be rare? Do you must tremble at the mention of your name? How this crumble at the sound of your voice? Our bodies are won by the power of your mighty hand. We rejoice because we serve a very big God. Holy
name of Jesus. You shall fulfill destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray in your studies. The Lord will set you aside among your peers in the mighty name of Jesus. Even when you go to schools, you will not fall into the hands of kidnappers in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not fall into the hands of evil ones in the mighty name of Jesus. We soak you and secure you in the blood of Jesus. Your future will be bright in the mighty name of Jesus. Because of you, the Lord will bless your parents in the mighty name of Jesus. All what they need, the finance, the wisdom, to take care of you in the name of the way of the Lord. The Lord will provide for your parents in the mighty name of Jesus. We cover you with the blood of Jesus. We have come to thank God in praises and dancing. The Lord will accept your dancing offering, your offering in the mighty name of Jesus. We cover everything with the blood of Jesus. Thank you Lord for answering our prayer. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Praise the Lord. Children, praise the Lord. I serve a living God, oh, even the devil knows. Say not true. Oh. It's time to have I serve a living, living God. It's time to have their things. Dance for their, thanks, their Thanksgiving offering. Let's have the things coming. I serve a living God, oh, even the devil knows. Say not true. Oh. I serve a living God, oh, everybody knows. Say now you there ain't no. I serve a living God, oh, you the devil knows. Say now true. I serve a living God, oh, everybody knows. Say now you there ain't no. To ever now you there ain't no. Now you there ain't no. To ever now you there ain't no. Now you there ain't no. To ever now you there ain't no. To heaven are you the head no, are you the head no I serve a living God, oh, even the devil knows Say not true, I serve a living God, oh, everybody knows Say not you the head no, I serve a living God, oh I serve a living God, oh, even the devil knows Say not true, I serve a living God, oh, everybody knows. Say, are you there? To heaven, are you there? No, are you there? To heaven, are you there? No, are you there? To heaven, are you there? No, are you there? To heaven, are you there? No, are you there? No. 
chapel daddy we are happy to see them growing in the presence of god daddy we are happy seeing them growing even in the academics daddy we thank you lord for the wisdom knowledge and understanding you have given unto these ones daddy we ask oh god i shall be well with them in jesus name Amen. this is their formative stage in life father i ask oh god daddy i pray that none of them will be influenced by negative effect of social media in jesus name amen they will not be affected by negative effect or influence of peer groups in the name of Jesus. Amen. Daddy, we soak these ones in the blood of Jesus. Daddy, we ask, oh God, that your blood will avail for them every day of their lives in Jesus' name. Amen. In their academics, Daddy, we ask, oh God, that you give them wisdom in their academics in the name of Jesus. You raise them up above their equals in Jesus' name. Father, we ask, oh God, Father, this is the time very soon, in a short while, they'll be looking for admission. Daddy, we ask, oh God, that you give them better admission in Jesus' name. Even into their right frame of mind of universities in Jesus' name. The best cause they desire, Daddy, please grant unto them in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask, oh God, that this one will not be mentioned among Yahoo boys in Jesus' name. This one will not be children of perdition in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not become wayward children in Jesus' name. I pray for your parents. The Lord Almighty will give us the grace for parental 
responsibility in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord will grant us, uh, the Lord will give us financial strength in the name of Jesus. Amen. All what we need to grow this once in the way of the Lord. The Lord Almighty will provide for the parents in Jesus' name. We pray for your teachers in school, your teachers in church. The Lord Almighty will grant them more strength to take care of you in Jesus' name. It shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that the things of the Lord, the Lord Almighty will give you more passion in Jesus' name. You will be more passionate to serve God. And even to, 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 to fear the Lord every day of your life in the name of Jesus. I decree into your life this day. Go and fulfill destiny in Jesus' name. Go and fulfill mandate of God concerning your life in the name of Jesus. By this time next month, I pray the Lord would have granted you more grace, more wisdom, more strength, more capacity more wisdom in the name of Jesus. It shall be well with you uh, till the rest of your lives in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because you have answered our prayer. In Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. It is well with all of you. Every negativity that has been manipulated into your foundation is by destroyed in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, we journey with you through life in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. The choir will come back on duty as the things will be going. It becomes our own turn to say thank you to the Almighty God. Hallelujah. That's what my song will be. That's what my song will be. That's all my song will be Hallelujah Hallelujah That's all my song will be That's all my song will be That's all my song
is your turn to dance forward. You celebrated your birthday uh, in the month of April. Just dance forward. I will pray for you with the other people. We shall receive to thank God. Please dance forward now. I know my Lord sorrow. Hey, Baba. I got a me, my Special people 
thanking you for special reasons. Some of them, you have granted them the grace to be alive this month. That is their birthday month. Some of them, you know the reason why they are especially thanking you this afternoon. Daddy, please accept it all in the name of Jesus Christ. I am praying for all these children. Beginning with them that are celebrating their birthday this month. Those that have wedding anniversary this I'm asking, no God, today is the seventh day of the fourth month. Grant unto them perfect life in Jesus. In every area of their life, oh God, add life to their life in the name of Jesus. I pray for them, Jehovah God. Celebration will not stop in their lives. You have granted them the grace to see this month. Many more years they will see, they will fulfill destiny in the name of Jesus. And as many as are saying, Lord, you have done special My Father, I'm a God. Many more beautiful reasons you will grant them to thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Celebration will not stop in your life. Amen. Celebration will not cease in your hopes. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Anybody that will enter into your boat of life, that will be a hindrance to your dancing, to your singing, to your celebration, I decree now, my father will flush them out of your vehicles in the name of Jesus. With immediate effect, your life will move forward. Your destiny will be filled with testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus. Right through to the foundation of your life. The Bible says in Psalm 11 verse 3, the Bible says, see the foundation be destroyed, what can righteous do? I speak to every foundation here present. The mighty hand of God will visit your foundation. It will turn things around for you. In the name of Jesus, this very month you will receive good news. This very month you will walk into good news. This very month, good news will come into your home. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. Thank you, Heavenly Father. The legs with which you have danced will not be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. The hands will not be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. Your tongue, your mouth with which you sang will not be sorrowful in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Next month, you will have many more reasons to specially thank the Lord in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Just stay here. Have opportunity now that you are standing by the altar. Every one of us, I want us to pray. You know, as I've told you many times, when we are praying, I close my eyes. So if you are sitting down, I did not see you yourself. You are on your own. Bad one. I want us to pray just one prayer, just like I said. Those of you at the front, pray like never before. People that are sitting back, if they want to pray, let them pray. If they are not ready to pray, no wahala. The Lord is on his own. He said it in his voice. He said, even before you call, I will answer. That means when you call, you already send the reply. He didn't say you should keep quiet. I want somebody to pray now that I'm here. And say, Father. Father. I have been hearing people give testimony. I have been hearing people give testimony. I have been seeing people celebrate. I have been seeing people celebrate. This very month. This very month. Let it be my turn. God in the name of Jesus. This very month, oh God. Let it be my turn to testify. Let it be my turn to celebrate. I am long overdue for testimony. I am long overdue, oh God, for celebration. I've been rejoicing with people. I have been visiting and hearing people's testimony. It is the time, it is my turn for my own testimony. Oh, yes, no. It's my time, it's my turn for my own testimony. For testimony. My love is long overdue for visitation.
for celebration, oh God. This is the month for me. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be Jesus now and forever. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. I want to pray for us now. If your amen is loud enough, it will encourage me. Every one of us. Offering the Lord will sanctify and receive to his glory. Amen. In 2 Samuel chapter 2, verse 18 to 23. 2 Samuel chapter 2, verse 18 to 23. There you will see the story of a man called Asahel. If you now go to 1 Chronicles chapter 27, verse 7, you will see the same man, Asahel, there, as the captain of the fourth month. As the captain of the fourth month. The meaning of Asahel is God has made. Or simply put, God made. I was telling the people that came for commanding the morning. I told them, when something is, is looking perfect in the face of a human being, we say it is tailor-made. If tailor-made is perfect, what about God-made? Asahel means God-made. He's, he's the captain of the fourth month. I never pray for everyone whose amen will be loud and clear, including myself. This very month, God made Testimonies shall look with us in the name of Jesus. According to that second Samuel chapter 2, was a very fast runner. He can run very fast. And when you say somebody can run very fast in a competition, a fast runner gets to the finishing line in time. Gets to the finishing line early. Everyone he has present today, you will finish well. Amen. The vision that you have, the vision for your marriage, the vision for your business, the vision for your children, you will finish well. As a head, was a fast runner. A fast runner gets to the finishing line early. A fast runner is decorated with medals. Somebody here, maybe even in your family line, nobody has ever been celebrated publicly. You will be number one. Amen. You shall be celebrated. Amen. You shall be celebrated. Amen. You shall be decorated. 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 Amen. Physically, spiritually, you shall be decorated. When somebody is to be decorated, the garment of rubbish, the garment of shame, the garment of ridicule, we is taken away. When Joseph was sent for from the prison, they removed his evil garment. When the Joachim was taken from the prison, they removed the prison garment. They now decorated them. Every garment of shame, every garment of ridicule, every garment of backwardness, every garment of limitation upon anyone here present today in this meeting, because of what the prophetic word is coming forth now, that garment is removed in the name of Jesus. The mighty hand of God is removing that garment and is throwing it. Now, take the garment of glory. Receive the garment of new glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. You shall be decorated. You shall be decorated. In the name of Jesus. As a hair was a fast runner. A fast runner gets rapid results. Rapid results. Rapid result. As the Lord Jehovah God says, in every area of our lives, we will get rapid result. I say we will get rapid result. The Lord will quicken your steps into rapid result. Re 
Results that are great. Results that are marvelous. Results that are powerful. Results that you yourself will say you say. Outstandingly great result is coming your way. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. The people that thought they have gone long, far ahead of you. They will discover that suddenly you have overtaken them. They will discover that you have overtaken them. I said they will discover that you have overtaken them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Asahel, a fast runner. But do you know that what Asahel knows how to do was what eventually resulted into his death. I am praying for you, sir. I am praying for you, man. Long life and prosperity. You will not die untimely. Your legs have been anointed. Your legs will not go to any evil place. Your legs will not take you to any condemned place. The Lord's hand will be upon your life. He will grant you good health. He will grant you long life. In the mighty name of Jesus. This very month, before it runs out, every form of weeping of life will run out in the name of Jesus. Your joy will not run out. Your celebration will not run out. You will not die on time. This nation Nigeria. One man of God, we know we were praying on Friday. He said, our blood will not be used as a sacrifice for this nation. I pray for everyone here present. Your blood and the blood of every of your loved ones shall not be used as a sacrifice for this nation in the name of Jesus. Oh, As the wind continues to blow torrentially, it will blow in our favor in the name of Jesus. And the name of the living God shall be glorified. Next month, Jesus starts. And we come together for a time like this. You will have great testimony. Oh, before they will call people to testify, you will already run out that you have testimony. Because there are testimonies and there are testimonies. Psalm number 126, verse 1. The Bible says, when God turned again, the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. There are some testimonies that will make you to look as if, am I dreaming? Sam, receive it now. Receive that testimony now. Testimony that the enemy is even they can do it. Come and congratulate you. That will be your portion. That will be your portion. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Bless every Jesus now. Three. And you will run it up without fire. Daddy, I pray for everyone, including myself. All the children, all the things, the priests, even the children that are in the womb. Daddy, your mighty hand of power, your mighty hand of security, your mighty hand of protection, your mighty hand of provision. Let it come into my life in the name of Jesus. <laughs> In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. All glory be to the living God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for what you look and do that you've done. We give you praise, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. The youth weekend is 18th to 21st of April. 18th to 21st of April. And this is uh, the breakdown of their program. Thursday, 18th, Faith Clinic, 6.30 to 8 p.m. Friday, day 2, Praise Evening, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Praise Evening on Friday, 19th of uh, April, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. I can't understand this writing here. 
something minister for Friday. Friday, praise evening, 6 to 8 p.m. Saturday is a career live career mental health talk. But at the end of it, I added evangelism and follow-up. All this one you are uh, faith clinic, all those ones are for our own good. Evangelism and follow-up is the heartbeat of God. We have to include it. Even if it's for one now. After your program, you must work and follow up. And that is one of the main reasons for this natural group uh, weekend. Go and talk to your peer groups and bring them into the house of God. And then on Sunday, 8 a.m. By God's grace. The theme is a wise son. Proverbs chapter 1. Proverbs chapter 13 verse 1. A wise son. A wise son is the joy of the parents. The joy of the nation. The joy of the community. A wise son. But before the son can become a wise son. Oh, ah, a lot of things would have gone into it. Matthew 25. 10 virgins. Five were wise, five were foolish. Ten virgins. All of them, they were pure, they were living holy. The only difference was an extra care that five of them put in, and they became wise people. The Lord will grant every one of us his wisdom in the name of Jesus Christ. I can't hear your amen now. God bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's jam our hands together to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, that have helped us to see the first Sunday. If you are clapping for the Lord, you can clap better. You are not clapping for me. We are clapping for the King of Kings. The I am the Ham that have kept us from the beginning of this year. He has helped us to see the first Sunday in this month of April. We shall see many, many more Sundays. In the months to come in the mighty name of Jesus. Our service is gradually coming to an end. But before we bring our service to a close, we have a special guest among us. And those are the people that are worshipping with us for the very first time. If you know today is your first time of fellowshipping with us in this sanctuary, kindly wave your hands. We want to welcome you in a special way. Today is the very first day that you worship with us. We want to welcome you. Let's clap for my sister right there. Let's jam my hands together for him. And let's welcome him to we smile. Please come forward. Today is your first time of fellowship with us. We want to welcome you in a special we are way. Happy people, yes, we love you. Welcome. We are happy people, yes, we love you. You are welcome. Every Tuesday, Bible study. You are welcome. Every Thursday, Friday. You are welcome. Every As we have heard our choir just sang, we are happy people and we love you. And we are saying once again that you are welcome. I pray that today that you come, the Lord will do something special in your life. After now, you are not a first timer, you are part of us. This is a big family, communion, chapel. Let's stretch forth our hands towards them. Let's prophesy to their life that the Lord should do something new in their life today that they will fellowship with us. That as they come today, they will not go back empty-handed. That the Lord will do a new thing in their life. That the Lord will surprise them. That the Lord will give them answer to their heart desire. Today that they have stepped their feet on this sanctuary, communal chapel, the Lord will touch them. The host of heaven will go home with them. Wish them as you wish yourself. The Lord will surprise them. The Lord will pay them a visit. The Lord will renew them like eagle. They will run, they will never be tired. They will swarm high like an eagle. The Lord will renew their strength. Spiritually, the Lord will renew you. Financially, the Lord will renew you. The Lord will renew your home. The Lord will renew your health. The Lord will renew all that perfect that concerns you. And shall perfect all that concerns you and your household. You shall live here rejoicing. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. 
please look at my sister over there. She will tell you more about our church and will show you a little bit of hospitality. Thank you for coming. The Lord will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Before we bring the service to a close, this is to inform all the workers in the house that our monthly workers meeting will be holding this Friday to hold the workers in the house. This is to inform us that that will be 13th. That will be 13th of this month. Friday, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And you should remember that that day is our day of fasting. So come here fasting. As you pray and fast, the Lord will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. So as you fast, remember to pray. And we come here together to round up the prayer session. And I pray the Lord will strengthen and fortify us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's disseminate this information to as many that are not here today. And let's check our platform to, for further updates. The Lord will bless us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's be on, on our feet. Let's be all standing as we appreciate God for today. Let's thank him for what God has done in our life. That as we are going this week, the Lord should go with us. The Lord should strengthen us. The Lord should uphold us. Even as we go and come back for Holy Communion this evening, the Lord should give us the strength. The Lord should favor us. The Lord should renew our strength like ego. That we will run and we never be tired. We will mount on like ego. And we shall swear higher and, and higher. The Lord should bless you, strengthen you. His strength will go with you. We go with your household. The Lord will bless the work of our hands. The Lord will expand your coast. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. As you go this week, the eyes of God will go with you. He will favor you. The Lord will prepare a table before you. In the presence of your enemy. Your cup will full and run it over in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Be quiet please. For our anthem. refreshment over there and I pray that the Lord will bless and satisfy this refreshment in the mighty name of Jesus as we take them it will nourish our body soul and spirit in the mighty name of Jesus immediately after the grace let us stay on our seat they will share it for us before we leave the grace in fellowship of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord! Please, let's take our seat in the next five minutes. We shall take our leave. Please, let us be on our seat, please. Please, let's be on our seats. Let's be on our seats. Just five minutes. My brother is going over there. Please let's be on our seats.